Hey folks, I'm HP's Dr. Pink and today's topic is the Blue Jean Blues. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, join the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Link is in the description box below. And um, this is how the whole thing sounds, you probably know. i referring to the um, version of Jeff Healy. I really love that one. A little bit more rocky. <laughs> And so on. I played now two chorus of the of this blues because first I played more or less the theme, and then get on the improvisation. So in this tutorial, first I'm going to show this theme which I played. Well, I created one kind of theme, which is more or less the theme of that blues, and then we talk about improvisation concepts in this blues in specific, uh, in a trio formation. I really love the playing in a trio formation that only bass, drums, and one guitar. It gives you a lot of more work on the guitar, but a lot of more cool stuff you can express. And of course, it also works with the band. But if you only have bass and drums, uh, you have pretty much work to do here. Well, not so much, but you have to know what you're doing here. And that's what we're going to talk about today. All right, guys, I switched off the delay now. So we just have a normal distorted sound. I'm using a... Captain Hook amplifier. <laughs> I really love the Captain Hooks. Well, in my XFX3 device, I have a lot of uh, amplifiers, and Captain Hook is really cool, I must say. So, <clears throat> a medium distortion. Now, the um, theme is like this you have F, G to A minor, but in this case we're just playing power chords here, 3-3, three, 5-5, three, five, five, seven, seven. so 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, and 3, and then it go, goes back, so here, 7, and then slide up here in 7, on the D and G string and back to 5-5 five, five. and then the figure comes again and the second time we're playing this we play a little fill in in the A minor pentatonic so you can play anything of course which you like but my suggestion is this one here 7-5 back to f so This little like your sounds best and keep in position. So it played four times, then comes again the figure. Then again. 
This time we go in the bending here in the seventh fret. Five, seven. That was now four bars of A minor. Then it goes D. In this case, we're just playing a D5. Here, third fret, second fret on the B string, on the G string. The middle four strings and really attack like a Damp the low E string with your thumb and the high E string with your middle finger. This way you can really go through the strings and it sounds different than if we're just to like just do this, you know, has more bite. More cojones. <laughs> This is played four bar, four beats, and then again, we can also highlight it. Attacky more is just an idea. Like, you can play it several times if you want, and then we like make a little solo. So we are playing since this is a D minor chord here. This is D five chord. We're playing a little D minor chord here. Five, three, five. So. Then back to the figure. And now, this is now the little fill in here. We slide from seven to nine in the G string, lettering on eight on the B string. And then we go to E7 sharp nine. Seven on the a string, six on the D string, seven on the G string, pinky on the B string, and the open E string. And that one you can play as many times as you like. So one and two and three and four, and then A five. So one, two. And to C, just a normal C, A5, to C, normal C here in the third fret, second fret, index in the first fret. And then the theme is over. I'm going to play the whole thing now and give an explanation. So it was not, that was not the whole thing played. It's really simple, I must say. But there are a few tricks you need to know to make it really sound cool. First of all, these ones here. Slide them. You can attack them or you make variations. One time you slide them. Or slide the first. This one you slide slide back or when you make it more dramatic you attack them attack both of them it's really these little things make the difference since you're playing the same figure all over again you can make variations on that even if it's the same thing all over you play probably play the first time that's more soft and then See, this time you take both and give vibrato here. Especially this one here on 5-5 five five on, the, on the D and G string. You hear how the overtones are coming. Even I don't have so much distortion, if I make vibrato, then they, 
they come faster. And this way you can control your sound. It's not only just playing these chords. I mean, they're really simple. That's not the point. I, I think I did a Blue Jean Blues, I think, three years ago already. And there I just showed how to play the basic thing. But to really make it sound cool, especially in a trio formation, you need to control your tone. How do you do that with these little things? Check out how the tone develops. The harder attack, the softer you take if you make slides or not. Soft, more aggressive now. See, it's the same thing but sounds different. And these little variations make it goes uh, from like top to flop. If you do that stuff, you're top. If you just play it, just play it, then it probably gets boring after a while. And that's really the main trick about this. You have to control every tone you're doing. And that's even for good players, probably a challenge because you always have to be alert, always work with the tone. If you have a um, <coughs> delay activated, which I see it's very slow, um, when you work with the delay, the delay doubles up what you're doing. So if you are not precise here, you, you won't sound well with delay. If you add a delay, it's, it widens up your sound like this because it doubles up what you're doing. But if you're, if you're precise, it's like a big sound wall coming. If you're not precise, it just makes chaos. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. See, there's a lot of additional music going on. And if it's not precise, so also control. If you stop here, that is exactly on the beat and not just, you know, it has to be except da, da, exactly on the beat, duck, because then the delay comes on the whole thing. Let's do the whole thing now with delay and I try to make explanations in between. how it doubled up and it is you probably heard I made a little mistake somewhere the really um, let's say uh, attentioned uh, listener heard where I made a little mistake and then it doubled up and then it, it just created a boo like a hole you know and that's exactly what I'm saying if you work with delay special and low slow tempos you have to be really precise in know what you're doing and develop your tone and I was starting attacking soft at the beginning and the, the farther I went, the harder I attacked to get more distor distortion. And on this one I really went into the strings. Also here you can make a vibrator. These little details make the your pizza with a, lot, with a lot of ingredients, not only cheese and tomato, so are a lot of other things, yeah. Good. Now, the second thing which I want to talk about today is how to improvise now with this, especially in a trio, trio situation. That means you don't have any chords which are here, so you need to somehow build up your tone and let your tone fill the whole space. The space is extremely empty. When you listen to the backing track, it's 
not much here. So you need to fill this space. How do you do that? Start to sit in the tone, live in the tone. That was a really simple phrase. As this solo it was really simple we can make it harder of course but uh, I want that also the you cannot go into the extreme if you cannot play the basics so how do you live in the tone that my teacher told that to me when I studied music and I thought he was crazy and uh, it later I understood what it means to live in the tone that means you enjoy the tone <laughs> So you can play this tone just like this. That's it. And probably some of you are doing this, but then you're not living the, in the tone. You have to listen to the how it develops. See, now it developed. With the vibrato. Also with the way you attack. Uh, sounds more soft, gets more intense. And as long as you make these waves, the tone... Then it functions, you know. And when I add a delay, as I already said, it sums up what you're doing. But of course, when you have the delay, you cannot afford to make any mistakes if you have such an empty space because then you hear everything. You'll be more secure without delay, I must say. <laughs> and in many cases, this is already enough. And I did not really more than this just at the end I mean this lick here was really standard lick bending in the seventh bar in the fifth and that's it has to be precise because then the repeats come nicely and then go back in the living in the tone so let's see how that works maybe with another version I mean, it's really simple. These are these are not licks now. I mean, this is just really basic notes which played, but work on the tone and try to, as I said, live in the tone. That was a cool effect. Just put the bend, the fading, bending, even it's wrong. some more ideas what you can do also is um, pay attention to the chords which are played we have an A minor so we play little A minor chords May you can make little re lettering effects like 7 to 5 that will be an A minor or you make this is also an A minor you can make a rake you know Something like this. That works. When it goes to D minor, this works because we have a D minor here. This works, but that is probably too high to to is more carrying. Then you go below. This is also D minor. Fifth fret, third fret. And then you're down here. And another lettering effect, which all you should 
that also works here. Seven, uh, nine to eight. Let's try this. And you can mix these simple things up with the main theme. To be creative, you just keep the main theme going on and when you have time you put in the chords and in between you make live in the tone. <laughs> How simple was that? I mean, technical, absolute no challenge for most of you. But from the creativity, of course, it is a challenge. Because what shall you do? What shall you play? Where? How to live in the tone? <laughs> um, that's the, the main thing. And this comes through experience, to enjoying what you're playing. And the biggest mistake you can do is when you want to really dive into music when you improvise is to try too hard try it works best when you put it down to the minimum and build up from there keep it really simple and to try to, to make these transitions from low to high back to low you can do this really simple or and of course you can do more, but if you cannot do these basics, you will fail with the other stuff and it will not sound really good because you need to get into what you're doing. That's what I'm trying to teach today, not so much licks. I know many of you lo love licks. I don't love them so much. Honestly, I never really learned many licks. I always try to understand music and get creative in the way you play. And being creative is always about making these waves from soft to intense always this uh, low volume high volume little vibrato a lot of vibrato play low notes play high notes all these these um, counterpoints they make something interesting and it's not a, of course play, play slow play fast is also one thing which um, uh, works but um, that's probably the most difficult because you need to have in this case you need to know your highest speed you can play and the lowest speed and then you work from very slow to very fast and not like play this and this and this and this it has to be as i said one of these waves so let's do this now it's just my guitar doctor is calling God, dr pink is sick we need to put him to the guitar doctor i call back later andy <laughs> okay let's do this now
and so on. Now you, s- you, you could see what I was doing. I was developing from doing these waves and still referring to the main theme. And that's what it's all about. Especially in the trio formation, you really need to know what you're doing. Otherwise, um, you're going to up. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, guys, that was the Blue Jean Blues. Uh, well, the Blue Jean Blues... Blue Jean Blues the main theme and how to work around, build tension, live in the tone, be creative and how to do these waves. It's all about waves and always music always goes from A to B to C and always in these things. That's what it's all about. It's n- not as many probably things about licks. Licks are cool. Of course, I also can play some licks, but I prefer to have control over my tone. That's way more, um, especially on slow blues. Uh, if you try to play too many things, it mostly doesn't turn out well. Yo. Good, before me and Dr. Pink are playing a version for you, um, one more to say, if you want to download the tabs in the backing track, they're available in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. I'm also having a news feed there, the only one I'm serving now. Join there, the basic account is for free. You can join my posts and... Uh, follow them and command and do stuff like that you can also share your recordings if you want get a review or if you want to be a premium member you make the upgrade and you have access to the downloads and the same things you can connect and that's the idea of the hp crazy guitar committee to build up a community of guitar lovers so if you love guitar playing if you love dr pink that's the place to go and please write me a review on the bottom of the page of the link Uh, in the description below. Good, that's more or less what we want to say. And now we're going to play a last version for you. Bye, guys. (laughs) 